AIM Center is a nonprofit organization in the South Loop providing music, art, and theater classes to kids. Joining us now with more on the work that they do is founder and CEO Sheila Fortson. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. This is awesome. It, it, we were talking in the break. It's so important to expose kids, especially at a young age, yeah. to the arts. Yes, really important. I think the earlier the better. Um, and the arts develop so much um, for children, especially throughout the school ages, right? Like um, just the cognitive development, creative outlet, improves great gives them self-esteem, resiliency, like there's just so much um, that comes out of it for, for children. And yeah. with all that comes out of it and the importance of it, it's not available to everyone. And that is what you're aiming to do now, is to open this up to more underprivileged kids that yeah. do not have um, uh, the opportunity to, to reach out and get yeah. this type of education a hundred percent I you know when I was in grad school I started thinking about what I wanted my life mission to be um, and I know how much the arts have done for me personally um, as a child and even as an adult and I thought you know no child should um, be denied access to the arts just because of family you know their, their income or socioeconomic mm -hmm. background um, so I just wanted the arts to be accessible to any student so really focusing on underserved communities in Chicago um, especially in our black and brown communities there it's just not there and so I just I want kids to be able to have the opportunity to learn any art form they're interested in and you guys moved to a bigger location yes, in the last did. month yeah. what all of the arts are you able to get in front of kids yep so um, our logo represents the six pillars of our organization so it's music art creative writing theater digital art and then music and art therapy so um, when you think about the aspects of all of those art forms um, we want kids to be able to try it all and figure out what they love. And at what age are you starting with this? So most students start um, playing an instrument or learning an art form around three and a half, four years old, but we're also opening up uh, early childhood classes so moms and infants can come in. Um, but we go all the way through adults. We have a grandmother and her grandson that are taking lessons together. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, it goes five to 95. So you're never <laughs> too old to start learning. So you're gonna Correct. teach Tanya and I a little bit about the violin. I am, okay. yes, yep. So, okay, so you're going to put the violin okay. on your left shoulder okay you're going to put your thumb through this little open space here okay and you're going to go down up okay on this second string from the end okay. so we're going to learn twinkle twinkle good now down up on this open string here good put your first finger down Ooh, a little further back here yep down up on the top string good open your hands one time down that's the first half of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. I love it. Anybody yeah, can learn. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I don't know if mine's going to sound so good. You okay. Can. Yeah. All right. So. Chin. So yep. And Second from the end. In here. Yep, yep. And it's the open fingers. Yep. Good. Now the top string. I thought it's the top string. Oh, no. Oh. Second to last. Second to last. Oh. Good. First finger down. Good. <laughs> I, I, I did a little fancy thing. Yeah. You're doing a bounce. Okay. You're making it a little bounce. Okay, okay, we'll do it right now. <laughs> scholarships I'm pointing to you yes. right now. <laughs> no. <laughs> no I'm glad you asked about that so um, over the past this past year we served about 400 students in the Chicagoland area both at our location and then the partner organizations that we work with and then over the past two years we've given out about a hundred thousand dollars worth of scholarships wow. to students so oh, man. both full and partial scholarships are available and you know we don't want any kid left behind when it comes to the arts and now when kids come in do you guys provide instruments as well so we do we have like a rental program okay. or we can direct parents to where they can rent but um, we ha we ask for instrument donations from the community amazing so we definitely will not that we won't allow that to be a hindrance so we've actually had instrument donations we've had pianos delivered to wow. students apartments um, you know kids who didn't have a piano it's one of my favorite stories um, and so you know they can practice right there in their own homes so okay. are there happen? sessions when they begin and end is it or can you just jump in whenever you're you available? can jump in whenever you're available we have private and group classes, so you can kind of come in at your own pace, however you want to start. Um, but we encourage kids to keep going through the school year, yeah. you know, and then not to stop. There are so many parents, when you get to a certain age, kids want to stop taking lessons. Yeah, um, don't but stop. Yeah, don't stop. <laughs> uh, you know, keep going. Make those kids practice. Um, but, yeah, you can jump in at any age and then just try to keep going throughout the rest of your life. All right. Yeah, Sheila, yeah, right. thank you for so the lesson fun. and thank, thank you for you the so information. Yeah. You can find more here on your screen. Fame Center. It's in
in the South Loop social media handles and website right there on your screen. Thank you, Sheila. Thank Fantastic. you so much, ladies.